How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can unlock the third skill tree in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which are going to be the Ashina Arts. So the first and second of the skill trees, which are the Shinobi Arts and the Prosthetic Arts, we gain pretty much automatically at the beginning of the game. However, we knew from previous information that there was supposed to be three skill trees in this game, and the one that's missing is going to be the Ashina Arts. So exactly how do we obtain these? Well, let's just jump straight into it. To obtain the Ashina Art skill branch, what we need to do is complete a specific side quest in the Ashina outskirts, specifically the one given to us by Tengu of Ashina. We can find this bizarre NPC directly after defeating Gyobu Oniwa, which is the first main boss of the game you'll most likely encounter. Instead of continuing through the gates up towards the Ashina castle, so we want to go to the right up the staircase and inside this building we'll find an NPC standing there and this is going to be Tengu. He will ask us if we will help him take out some rats. These enemies are very close by from the same idol as before just after the boss fight. This time we do want to head up the pathway towards Ashina Castle. Immediately after defeating the first enemy encounter going up these stairs we want to jump up to the rooftops and on this upper plane we'll be able to see two enemies around a tree whom we'll be able to eavesdrop on. And these indeed are going to be the bamboo hatted rats that Tengu was speaking of which we need to kill for the side quest. However, before you make the same mistake we did, let's take a quick look around the area and we'll be able to spot the third one here waiting to ambush us behind this other tree as soon as we go to attack the other two. So first of all, let's sneak around and take this one out directly leaving us only the two enemies down the hill to take care of afterwards. Now these enemies can be very annoying because they can poison you as well as their hats being very sturdy shields. But luckily we already know how to take out shielded enemies. All we need to do is use the loaded axe prosthetic tool we got from the Hidata estate earlier on. And with this we can simply smash through the hats, leaving them open for a death blow directly afterwards. So once we've taken both those out, simply jump back over the wall, head back to Tengu of Ashina, and he will reward us with the Ashina Esoteric Text, which is going to be the item that allows us to start upgrading the Ashina Arts branch back at any of the idols. So I hope you did find this video helpful guys, if you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.